Hey everybody, it's Ron Caps. Now, it's preseason testing, it's Vegas. I don't have a fire suit on because our race car trailer caught on fire on the way to, uh, to test here. So, I'm a little bored. We had a photo shoot this morning, and uh, you know what? I told Bobby at Complex, there's a lot of really good questions I've always wanted to ask other drivers, even drivers I competed with and against. This is a perfect opportunity for me to play a reporter and just have some fun, ask some questions that maybe they don't ask in a TV show. So what better place than here on Comp Plus to have a little fun with some other drivers? We're trolling the lanes, and I ran into Paul Lee. Ooh, man, you, you got to be excited, man. you got all this new stuff going on, new colors. And, uh, you know, part-time last year, you guys, it was fun to watch you come out because I know you got the same setup that, that Tober put in our car. And to be honest with you, it was almost like watching a teammate when you'd run in front of us. The the, the grin that Tobler would get when uh, when Jimmo would turn around after uh, your car would go down the track, a lot of times quicker than ours even, was a lot of fun to watch. But we didn't get to see enough last year. And I know the fans, a lot of them haven't gotten to know who Paul Lee is a little bit. So now I'm bored because I have no race car here. So yeah, yeah. I thought I'd grab uh, Bobby here with Comp Plus and kind of walk around and maybe maybe – Ask some questions that, sure. that maybe the TV shows don't. Now, I know you're an attorney at home. Everybody, right? No, I'm, I actually, uh, I, I used to be an attorney right. years ago. Now I'm the owner of McLeod Racing and FTI Performance. So Two different uh, high-performance companies. One in California and one in Florida. So no more? No, I haven't practiced law for 20 years. Wow. All right. But, okay. So, but, see? But see, I now I had experience. I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, I, I have that experience. That was my previous life. And I used to work at Bonafonte Friction. I was a CFO there, but I also did a lot of their legal work as well. But you know, it's still in my system. I still do my own stuff here and there. But uh, I'm now. I got out of that because it cut in my racing time. So you know, being at, being you know working at the uh, Philadelphia Stock Exchange is where I used to work. Uh, I couldn't drag race as much because if the stock market was open, I had to be at work. And I said, you know, this is, you know, I was wanted to race more, and I was racing alcohol funny cars back in the day, and I had a chance to jump on with Bonafonte Friction, leave the stock exchange. So that's when I left the legal businesses, got into drag races when I joined Bonafonte Friction, and it allowed me the freedom to go drag racing, and also bring a clutch program with me. So it's basically since 2001, that's where it came from. Nice. See, it's another story. You read about Connie Coletta and how he was smart enough to go back, get his business right, and now look at him. He can go drag racing, but... Um, you know, I've got I've known you quite a while, yeah. and uh, are you guys going to race at least? You think eighteen events this year? Well, we right now we have funding for fifteen, so we're solid for fifteen. Uh, we have another one on uh, that we just talked about just like a half an hour ago for another three. So there's a real good chance you're going to see us at more than fifteen this year, and that's what the goal is. We enjoyed racing, uh, being under the umbrella of DSR, and all the help that Tober and, and every all your guys have given us. I mean, it just it's just amazing. Like, I'm having the most fun I've ever had drag racing. I've been doing this a long time and right now i'm having the most fun i've ever had he's part of the five disc club there's only a yeah, few of us exactly <laughs> that's right so part of the five disc club we all know you had the widow maker yes um doctors i mean how how do you ever think about are you in the car and does it it's got to cross your mind a little bit when you think you're sitting there and there's an oil down because i know thoughts run rampant in my head you, you get too much time when you're strapped in how often is this widow maker experience in your head well at first there was a lot and uh, because I didn't think I was going to do this again. And to be honest with you, I was just lucky to be alive. I didn't care. But the racing was just secondary. I was just lucky. I was happy to be here. So if I never raced again, I was fine with it. I, w I, had, I was content with, you know, just being here and being on the planet and being able to see my friends and my family. But, you know, after a couple years of rehab and the doctor said, you know, your heart's looking pretty good. He goes, uh, there might be a chance that if we do, we have to do a few things, but you might be able to do this racing car stuff again. He, that's what he called it. Has he ever been to a drag race in person? Well, that's the thing. Uh, at first, he said, oh, yeah, you can go drive your race car. And I said, you know, I think you need to come to a race to see what we really do in a nitro car. Yeah. And he came to the World Finals in 2018. We brought him out to Pomona because he's real close. I invited him out, took him out. We got, I gave him a tour of uh, Del Worsham's car. Del said, yeah, yeah, do whatever you want. Got him a tour of the car, took him up to the starting line, and he was obviously like the first time. He was completely blown away. He goes, well, wait a second. Here. <laughs> yeah, to, hold on, <laughs> hold time on out. a second here. These, these things are unbelievable. I said, I never even knew that this sport existed. And he's now a fan. 
You know, he said, wow, this has just blew me away. Typical first time fan, but he said it's not impossible. So we did a few things. Uh, you know, we tested some things. Uh, we did some more heart work, some testing, and, you know, eventually he gave me the clearance to go do it. But that was after I drove uh, the DHL car. Uh, Connie let me test in the car at the test session in Phoenix two years ago. And he had heart monitors hooked up to me, heart rate monitors and everything. Thanks to Race Pack, they helped with that. And uh, after made three runs, he goes, yeah, your, your heart's fine. He says, you can, you're, I'm going to sign you off. So here I am. <laughs> and how often are your checkups? I, I, I check up all the time. I do, uh, I get a, a, what's called a, a stress test, which everybody over 50 should have one. Yeah. Um, and I get them twice a year now. And I see him probably every three months. Good. So off season was good for you? Yep. Off season was great. We had our shows, the SEMA PRI show and the MPMC show, but now we're back in the racing mode and I'm excited. Yeah, I saw you guys at uh, PRI. That's always fun, but yeah, excited for you guys. So uh, colors look great, global on the car. And uh, it's going to be fun to watch. I don't care what the new countdown rules are. Uh, it, these guys are going to be fun to watch. I always cheered for the underdog. We can't call you the underdog anymore after watching your car last year. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully we see a lot late in the day on Sunday. Yeah, I hope so. And, and, and our goal is to be, you know, help you guys. You know, if, if there's a way we could take out. There's nothing <laughs> would give me pleasure than take out a guy that's competing with the championship. <laughs> so, yeah. What do you mean? You Good might great. be in it. I hopefully be in it someday <laughs> with you, buddy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Good seeing you. All right. Paulie, everybody.